Well, we're back on Ubisoft again, and we're going to revisit Assassin's Creed Shadows. A situation that I thought was resolved, but it looks like it's really not because the reenactment group that had their art stolen by Ubisoft because Ubisoft is lazy, doesn't even finish their games, doesn't do very much research for the stuff that they're using for their games because this is supposed to take place in Japan and they've used like Chinese architecture and Mandarin symbols when <laughs> this is supposed to take place in Japan, all kinds of stuff that uh, the games media would have went insane over if this happened in Gosha Tsushima. Uh, it really exposes how hypocritical they are on all of this and how they play softball with a company like Ubisoft because this whole situation, which real quick is based on this. So in Japan, there's a reenactment group. They reenact some battles in history. I think mostly from the samurai era and it's, it's just historians and people having fun. Uh, People do this in America. It's usually based around the civil war. People reenact big battles, and they get authentic-looking props and outfits. It's just people enjoying a hobby. I, 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 don't, I don't see anything wrong with what they're doing. However, uh, something that is wrong is Ubisoft taking work from one of these reenactment groups. This flag right here that this guy's holding with all the Japanese writing on it. Uh, they pretty much straight up lifted it from this group. Probably because they Google searched, you know, Japanese era flag and that ended up popping up and they just outright stole it instead of, I don't know, maybe using it as inspiration and developing their own, which I don't think anybody would have had a problem with, Uh, but just straight up lifting it and stealing the artwork is kind of shitty. So after being pressed by people like my channel and others, some attention got drawn to this and Ubisoft actually responded and apologized and said, we've deleted it. Unfortunately, it's still going to be in the special edition art book because we've already printed it, uh, but we will not be using it again. And apparently if it was in the game, it's out of the game. It's just going to be in some artwork. It was in the game actually, by the way, it was in this part right here. Uh, But apparently that has been changed to something else. What that is, I don't know, but There is a special edition art book. Like if you buy the special edition of the game, I believe, or something, you get an art book. I don't think it's sold separately. Maybe it is. So if it is sold separately, I apologize. But uh, either way, the book's been printed. So they're saying, you know, nothing they can do about it. The reason they're saying that is because printing is expensive. As someone that's developing a comic book and pretty close to printing, I can tell you, That it ain't cheap. (laughs) Most of the cost is in that printer. So they don't, the the reason that they don't want to do anything about it is because they've already printed the book and it's very expensive to go back and print it again because this is in here and they're refusing to do it. Now, I thought that the rifle group accepted the apology and that was that. Turns out they're still very upset that Ubisoft is taking this image and they want to do something about it. And they're now contacting Square Enix because Square is publishing the game in Japan. They're just putting it out there. Ubisoft is putting it out in other places, but Japan is handling it or Square Enix is handling the distribution in Japan. This happens quite a bit in other mediums. So I don't think Ubisoft really has a presence there. So Square Enix is going to put it out and they'll make a little bit of money. So they're contacting Square Enix now. So in another summary of this article, Ubisoft is facing controversy for the art book because of that banner. Uh, Despite that apology and acknowledgement that the banner was used without permission, they have refused to remove this image from the collector's edition art book, citing production issues. Uh, The reenactment group is run by volunteers and they're considering legal action but 
they're trying to see if Square will remove it. Now, the problem with legal action is it's expensive. It's very expensive to go to court. Probably, <laughs> I know it is in America, and it's probably no different in Japan. So this is the group. They're, they don't make any money off of this. This is all fun activities for them, volunteers. It's just a fun little group, and they don't have the money for this. This is like taking on a big corporation, right? I really think the middle line here is the, the compromise here is for them to give that group money. They should pay them something. I don't know what that amount is, but just give them some money, maybe a percentage of the sales or something, and call it a day. But that also depends on if that group will accept that money. I, I don't know. Uh, but just saying sorry and then using their shit and still making money off of it is bullshit. They should give some kind of monetary settlement to that group. And I think that would probably fix the situation. Uh, but they are still upset about it. And Ubisoft's response was basically, yeah, sorry, we can't do anything about it now. At least that's what they told them in bullet points. Here it is. Since it's the weekend, I was hoping to receive a reply from support, but there has been no reply as of now. It seems that printing and production of the art has already begun. So will their response remain the same, that it cannot be deleted? And there was a follow-up message on the 29th of July saying, I received a message from Ubisoft support today. The details are as follows. I printed it out so I can delete. I can't delete it now. It's difficult to make out the text from the image. The image has been deleted from the system managed by Ubisoft. And I'm sorry I couldn't meet your request. In bullet points, that's what happened. So, like I said, personally, I think that they should give them some money and apologize again. Because if you're not going to do anything about it I think if they take you to court you're probably going to end up having to pay them anyway and I'm sure Ubisoft would try to drag them around and make them lose more money I think the honorable thing to do here is to just pay them some money it would likely be cheaper than reprinting the book and it probably wouldn't be that much money. I'm sure that they would be happy with something. I think it's more of the point that you just stole it and used it and didn't think that anybody would notice. And I don't know why companies do this because it always gets found out. Somebody will find out that you've done it. I've seen it many times now, especially with Star Wars because Disney will do this shit. Disney's Lucasfilm, Star Wars stuff constantly rips off fan-made ships. Uh, there's a channel out there that covers it. I forget the name of it, but uh, I'm pretty sure I've done a video on one or two of them myself. But there's a lot of examples of them taking stuff from the fandom creations and just repurposing it for their own shit. <laughs> They're just as bad as Ubisoft. So that's the latest. Another hot topic issue. The two biggest games coming out this year for Ubisoft filled with controversy, which I'm sure they don't want, but they kind of did it to themselves being stupid. Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.